Indeed, it is an evil world we live in. The heroes of this award season include Oppenheimer, the inventor of the atom bomb, Barbie, who's a doll for children, and Bella, the star of Poor Things, or the main character of Poor Things, who is um, the brain of an infant and the body of a 35-year-old woman. Okay, and Emma Stone, as a filmmaker, falls in line with other female filmmakers like Emerald Fennell, Sarah Polly, or Greta Gerwig, who all feel like they have to make feminist films. Poor Things is a different kind of feminism, though. Get into that later. And why do I say Emma Stone? The movie is directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, a Greek filmmaker. Well, because Emma Stone had a producing credit on this movie, and I doubt she did a much, uh, she did a much, she did a lot of planning or um, accounting in this film. She probably had more like an executive function where she talked to the right people at Fox Searchlight to get this movie made. Okay, so what's the story of Poor Things? Poor Things starts like Frankenstein, in which, as I said, the body of a 35-year-old woman is used as a vessel for an infant brain. Okay, then her creator, Willem Dafoe's character, puts her back to life, you know, very, very much like in, in Frankenstein. And then we have this naive character with a mature body. And the movie then really plays out like Pinocchio, where this naive character goes through the world, but um, is very naive and makes a lot of experiences and grows really as a character. The movie also reminds me very much of a Futurama episode in which Bender the robot um, is turned into a human being and he goes on a rampage of uh, womanizing, drinking, smoking, partying until he drops dead. A similar thing happens in Poor Things, where Bella also grows on a great adventure. She has a fiancé, like uh, she's promised to, to a man that she loves, but before getting married she really wants to experience the world. And indeed she goes on this adventure with Mark Ruffalo's character, who's a womanizer. And yeah, they eat up a storm, but she never gains a pound. Um, she takes that lover, but does not alienate her fiancé who loves her. She also doesn't catch feelings for Mark Ruffalo, or she falls pregnant, even though the movie takes place in a steampunk Victorian era. Later on, she does sex work, but doesn't get ill. And her fiancé, who loves her, is also cool with it in the end. Indeed, this is where the film is different than other feminist films who really paint the world as a more dangerous place. I'll give you an example. So in one scene, Bella discovers alcohol for the first time. She goes into a bar alone, she goes to the bar and has some shots, okay? And um, she's one shot another shot until she passes out drunk in the corner of a bar. Okay, other films, let's say um, Promising Young Woman by Emerald Fennell, paint a similar situation as very, very, very dangerous. But again, here it has no consequences for her, she has just a mild headache. She doesn't have any anything that happens to her as no consequences. She gets captured by her ex-husband in one scene and then just uh, easily escapes, for example. You go on exuberant adventures. It's the Victorian era and um, your behavior has no consequences at all. To me, it seems also like Poor Things is kind of a vanity project for Emma Stone, you know? So you, she... Um, 
treats other people in the movie horribly. You know, she's just very egotistical, does whatever she wants. But everybody loves her. Okay, everybody she meets, she just inspires and and is crazy about her. Even Mark Ruffalo, who she drives into insanity, he really can never let go of her, really. And um, at one point in the film, she's so missed by her father and her fiance that they try to create a replacement for her. This is a Margaret Qualley's, or Qualley's character, but um, that replacement doesn't work. They miss her, they want her, and Margaret Qualley is really uh, yeah, painted as an idiot. She plays an idiot character while Emma Stone plays this character who everybody loves. But this is kind of a feeling that I got from the movie. Please like and subscribe to make this world a better place. Thank you.